Hey, Dan Chenard here with EF Block again. I'm up here in Wickenburg with uh, Styrofoam mom, uh, Miriam. So uh, Miriam and I are gonna take a look at this uh, retaining job here behind us. Uh, this is a rich a customer here in Wickenburg. So how things going, Miriam? What do you think? Good, I'm, I'm dying to find out how recycled Styrofoam can hold back a wall of dirt. I, I really want to see this. Absolutely. Now we do it all the time. This particular building here has number five rebar 12 inch on center and it's as you can see behind us we'll take a better look at it. It's retaining about 10 feet of dirt here. Amazing. I, let's go. You can see here the retaining. We're gonna walk up top here. This building is 12 foot high on the inside and you can see there's about a little over four feet sticking out of the ground here. Dan, turn around and take a look at the big digger that back up right there. That's that's what it takes to dig out Absolutely. for a wall like that, and yet EF Block is holding back that dirt. Absolutely. And another interesting thing about this, uh, Rich, the uh, homeowner, was grading his driveway out front, and he ran into the building with that um, uh, loader down there Did he? And, and didn't even hurt it. All he had to do was patch a little stucco. Now, what would have been what would have been like if it was a stick frame house? It would have knocked it off the foundation, no? Absolutely. Had it been stick frame, it would have pushed the studs right off the stem, and there would have been a, 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 a terrible amount of damage done. Yeah, you would have needed an engineer back out here to figure that out. Absolutely. That's fantastic. And from this wall here in the corner, it drops all the way down to a garage. That's correct. Let's walk down there. All right. Okay, we're down at the other end now, and right down here, I'm going to show you. You can barely see the patch in the stucco. Right here? Yeah, that's where he ran into it. And again, if, he, if this would have been stick frame, it would have pushed the studs right off the footing or off the stem. So because the EF block is not really holding the weight of this house, the healing is no problem and there's no stress on it at all. Absolutely. The, the, the uh, structural integrity comes from the rebar and the grout that's in it. Gotcha. gotcha. And again, that retaining has got number five's 12 inch on center. And then the rest of this building has number four's uh, 48 inch on center. That's fantastic. You really appreciate that front wall when you've got a, a mountain on the other side of you. Well, that's a wrap out here, uh, Marion. What do you what do you think of uh, of the project out here? I'm blown away. I, there's nothing like this where I come from. I'm so impressed. Really. Well, we're really looking forward to doing something in in Arlington or Virginia. Let me tell you right now. In in Arlington, we hug trees. Here in Arizona, I hug your houses. That's <laughs> well, recycled styrofoam, and that's the best possible use for it. Absolutely. Well, you heard it straight from the styrofoam mom's mouth there. Uh, thank you very much. Remember, if you uh, enjoyed this video, please share it on Facebook. Or, uh, you can Google EF Block YouTube and see many, many more videos. And don't forget to visit our website, EFBM or EFBlock.com, either one. Just do it. Thank you.